anyway, it is I. Now, I've made so many wishlist videos on Forza Horizon games that some of you lot actually want me to be the creative director for the next game. And that got me thinking, what if I was the creative director? How would I make the next game without being overly ambitious? Well, that's exactly why I'm here with this video, so let's try and hit 4,000 likes right now if you want to help me out. Hold also playground games if you want any help with development, then uh, <laughs> hit me up, you get me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to this video. location okay some people are gonna say this is overrated and other people like black panther say they don't expect this location which i totally understand but my personal choice for Forza Horizon 6 is of course japan now i know a lot of you are gonna call me a weeaboo and say oh it's because of jd i'm overrated no it's none of that okay the reason i want japan is because if the game is set in japan then you can make the map very very diverse i mean just take a look at this concept map for Forza Horizon 6 made by a fan okay you can see the dense city of tokyo i mean look at how dense it is there's roads everywhere and imagine the amount of street races we could have there oh my days it'll be so cool also of course there are mountain roads going on mount fuji and there are expressways toge passes and seeing as this game is set in japan we can also have snowy places here and there as well okay now i'm not of you guys might be thinking oh like if it's set in japan then we won't see deserts because there are no deserts in japan oh well first of all i'm sick and tired of deserts because Fort Horizon 5 is basically just a massive desert and you can't escape the sand and secondly if you do want deserts then we can have deserts in Japan because in Japan there's something called the Totori Desert which believe it or not is a desert so yep we can have a desert if the next game is set in Japan. So yeah I mean I genuinely feel like Japan will be the perfect location for Forza Horizon 6 and with Japan they have an incredibly rich car culture meaning we can see some very interesting cars as well. Forza games, the developers like to add brand new cars into these games, which is very good. But on top of adding brand new cars, they also recycle cars from old games and introduce them into the new one and pretend they're new cars. And Forza fans do not like this, but I feel like they would like it depending on what the cars they recycle are. Because I'd love for Forza to recycle ordinary cars into the new game, for example, the Toyota Prius, the Nissan Leaf, the Smart 4 2, the Peugeot 206, the Peugeot 107, the Peugeot RCZ, the Mazda 2, the Mitsubishi. Super Sheet Colt, etc. There's so many ordinary cars which I would love to return into the new game. And it's not just ordinary cars because there are so many JDM legends which we are missing in these new games. Like the Lexus IS300 or the Toyota Altezza, whichever one you want. Also the EG6 Honda Civic, the Honda Fit, the Mazda Speed 3, both the new one and the old one. And we even had a top secret Supra. Yep, we had a 02300 Supra and oh my days, it was so cool. But on top of those cars, I will also add some new to Forza cars as well which you lot have been begging for. For example the Mitsubishi Evo 4, the Toyota Chaser, the Autozam AZ1, the Suzuki Cappuccino, the Honda Beat, the Toyota Serra, the Daihetsu Midjet or the Midjet, I don't know how you pronounce that. Also the Toyota Century, the Nissan Stadia, the Nissan Skyline R30, the Yunos Cosmo, the Pajero Evo, those Mitsuoka quirky cars which like the Orochi and like the, you know those weird looking cars. We also need another four-door Skyline, maybe an R30 2 and R33 and R34, one of those, or maybe all of those. Oh, that would be cool. And we cannot forget the K11 Nissan Micra. Oh, beautiful car, man. Beautiful. <laughs> new Forza games we of course get brand new driving features. So for Horizon 6 I of course want blinkers and hazard lights because that would be so so good for role playing and cruising. And also headlight toggle switches are a must because there are so many cars in Forza with pop up headlights but there's no real switch to turn it on and turn it off which is so annoying I want my headlights to go flip flap flip flap and also an ignition button is a must because during cruises I would like to park my car up somewhere then turn off the car and then turn on the car and hit that start a bit like we need to have an ignition button in Forza Horizon 6 and also we need to have proper driving modes for every car in the game which has driving modes and we also need to have convertible roofs on every single convertible car in the game as well not just like a handful of cars like we have in Forza Horizon 5 we need it on the S2000 the MX-5 the Lotus XZ there are so many cars with missing convertible roof buttons so yeah man I feel like if there are going to be driving modes or convertible roofs in Forza Horizon 6 then this feature should be available on every single car in the game which actually has that in real life if you get what I mean. 
customization in Forza Horizon 5 is actually pretty good, but it could always be better, so what are some realistic changes I'd make for Forza Horizon 6? Well, first of all, I'd bring in individual wide body kit artists, kinda similar to, you know, like what Need for Speed have been doing ever since Need for Speed uh, Payback. Also, custom exhaust tips are a must, because look at this R33 I'm driving right now, it's a very cool looking car, and then you look at the exhaust tip and you're like, what is that? I'd also update the Forza Aero so I can get rid of that stupid tow hook, because I don't know who approved the tow hook to be there. And one thing we have to do is sort the wheels into the manufacturers that they come from because oh my days, the current system is so stupid. I don't know why they turned it to this system. Like nobody likes this. Also, what also has to be done is interior mods. For example, removing the passenger seat has to be available on every single car in the game. It can't just be available to two cars. And we also need to have custom steering wheels as well because I reckon that would be a pretty easy thing to add into the game maybe. Speaking of interior customization, we also need the option to paint the roll cage of our cars because oh my days, that would be so cool. Also, coloured headlights and tinting your taillights would be a really cool addition, kind of similar to what we have in current Need for Speed games. Oh, and also, coloured tyre smoke for drift cars would be so, so cool. I mean, imagine drifting in your drift team so you can see coloured tyre smoke in the air. Oh! <laughs> One the huge thing that Forza games have been seriously lacking are storylines. And I don't know if it's just me, but when there's no storyline in a game, there's no real incentive to actually play through the game. So I feel like for Forza Horizon 6, it should be a priority to actually put a proper storyline in the game. And with this storyline, there should be frequent high quality cutscenes similar to what we saw in Forza Horizon 1 and Forza Horizon 2. And we also need variation with the characters in these cutscenes as well. Like we need to feel some animosity between some of the characters in the next game. You know, I want to look at a character and be like, I hate you, like, I, I, I want to defeat you in a race, like, you don't, I don't like you. But comparing that to Forza Horizon 5, all the characters are just way too kind, like, oh, hello there, it's nice to meet you, oh, can you get a hug, oh, look at all these cars, that's a very nice car. You, it's just way too kind in Forza Horizon 5, and I, it's, it's, it's good for, like, a kid's game, but I don't like a kid's game, I want an adult's game, you get me? Okay, now, being completely honest, we probably won't get any, like, quote-unquote bad guys or, like, animosity in the next game, because, you know, Forza would prioritise making the game more family friendly over actually interesting for adults to play, but I really do hope that we get a character or characters in the next game similar to Ali, Duke and Darius and Forza Horizon 1, because we desperately need more characters like that in the next game, because they were so interesting, I love them so much, I mean I didn't love them, I kind of hated them, but I like what they provided in Forza Horizon 1, if you get what I mean. With Forza Horizon 6, we'll need a lot of brand new features, so here's what I'll bring in. First of all, I'd love to have a house upgrade system, kind of similar to the festival upgrade system we had in Forza Horizon 3. I was thinking about it, it's kind of similar to what we had in Forza Horizon 4's LEGO expansion, so yeah. Secondly, I think it'd be really cool to have a driveway selection, if you get what I mean. Because whenever you pull up to your house in Forza Horizon 5, it's always the same old driveway, same old house, same old everything. So imagine having a custom driveway where you can park your car outside and like sort of show off your cars. Also, I'd love to see interactive crowds in the game so they could like react to your car. And finally, I would love for Forza to improve the cockpit camera angle so they could like turn the wheel more than 180 degrees. And I'd also find a way to improve the sense of speed, for example, maybe make your character bounce when you're driving at speed. Or like make your character get pushed back into a seat when it's accelerating and when you shift gears it goes forward and it goes back again. Like, you know, little changes like that could really help to improve the sense of speed and the overall cockpit camera angle because at the moment it's a little bit outdated in my opinion. This is a bit selfish, but ever since I started making videos on YouTube, there were like cinematic videos. I always wanted to have a movie creator mode in the game where you could like create a scenario, where you can maybe like adjust the traffic density, the time of day, the season. And it would be so cool if there was a movie editor mode similar to like GTA 5's Rockstar editor, because oh my days, I would make movies every single day if we had that feature. Oh my days. I mean, I tried to make my very own movie on Forza Horizon 4 and it was pretty hard. But with the Rockstar editor style system, this would be so much easier, so yes I know this is very selfish of me, but if I was in charge of the next game, I would definitely add a movie creator mode in Forza Horizon 6. 
hate how repetitive and boring the missions are in Forza Horizon 5. I mean, it's the same old races, the same old PR stunts. It's not enough variation. That's what I'm trying to say. So I would love for there to be variation with the missions and not the same races over and over again. I mean, how cool would it be if there were elimination races in Forza Horizon 6, similar to what we got in TDU 2, where like every lap the last person gets eliminated? Just imagine how cool that would be in Forza Horizon 6. I would love that. On top of new races, I would focus on bringing in some new mini games into the game as well because uh, mini games are so much fun in Forza. I mean, if you watch Jack Automotive's videos from Forza Horizon 2 and Forza Horizon 3 and some of Forza Horizon 4, the mini games look like so much fun. Honestly, just watching it alone was like so exhilarating to watch. Carrying on for Jack Automotive, we need to have City Camouflage as an actual mini game in Forza Horizon 6. Also, Cops and Bombers would be a really cool mini game to add into the game as well because well, we have a lot of police cars in the game. Also, British Bulldog or in America, you know, as Sharks and Minnows. We need we need to have British Bulldog in the game, okay? But we also need football in Forza Horizon 6 as well, kind of similar to what we got in Forza Motorsport 4. We need that in the next game. Not only would it be a lot of fun, but business-wise, it just makes a lot of sense. It was bring so many players into that game. So yep, I would add variation to the missions in Forza Horizon 6, and that's why you should vote for me to be creative director for Forza Horizon 6. Oh yeah. Yeah, this video genuinely felt like a presidential campaign.